months. So, I guess there's not going to be an introduction. I'm used to that. It's my cue. It's all you, baby! So, we got another package in the mail today. And it's something that Amber wanted, so I figure I'm going to wait till Valentine's Day to open it. Ha 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 Psych! Okay, we'll open it. <laughs> but I actually recall, perhaps specifically, that you might have requested this as a Valentine's Day present. Huh. Huh. That little teapot? That yeah. steeps the tea in Yeah, there? I had that delivered while we were out today, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty prompt. I'm good. <laughs> so... I found this on eBay from somebody in the next town up, which was fortuitous. It's brand new. Evidently, he opened it, looked at it, and closed it back up. So it's brand new, but open box. And speaking of box, He taped it pretty good. Hey, he makes boxes like I do. The vendor that you got this from? It was an individual. It wasn't a vendor. Uh. <gasps> Ooh! Oh. It is the <laughs> Cadillac of box joint jigs. Ooh. The Incra Eye Box. Anchor makes awesome products. I expect no less than the Cadillac from Anchor. And evidently you can make like double box joints and all kinds of fancy crap. Once we get a book that tells us how to do it. Because <laughs> I doubt if the instructions are going to be showing you any of that good stuff. So as long as we're here, let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. So this is my Valentine's present? Yeah. Okay, world. We now know that this Inkra is my Valentine's present. <laughs> so there's a DVD which shows some of the joints. Can you see? Is it chewing up the whole camera? Oh, there? I can see. I'm sorry. I was watching. Yeah, it looks good. So you can see some of the pretty joints. And there's some literature here. Which looks like it's the owner's manual. So there's a picture of it all set up. <laughs> Which of course it's not because it's new in the box. And you know one of the things that they do is they anodize their aluminum which just nice little touch. There's a plastic guard. I don't know if I want to take all this out because it's got like a lot of little parts in the bag. And it's got even more parts. There's all the jiggy parts. And it's got two of those which makes me think it's a fence. And there's a big old piece of aluminium down here. We can show the assembly and everything. Well, I'm not going to put it together here and now. Well, not right now, but just this is the unboxing basic. And there's the miter thing that comes with it. Some of the things that's unique about Incra's, uh the way they do their channels for the miter is they've got these little Teflon wheels in here that do two things. One, Teflon of course is very smooth and it also makes it very tight in the fence and everything's replaceable in here. Not that, that can be our romantic movie for tonight is the DVD. We'll let you guys know if it's actually a helpful DVD because some of them are not always helpful. I'm sure. Inker is good stuff. So, there we go. Get that tie off of there. I wonder if it could have been the video that I watched on from the Inkra website yes, on the tool. Tonight's movie 
Inkra iBox instructional DVD. I love it. Thank you. So I'm just going to put everything but the DVD back in the box until it gets down to the shop where it can be put together and all that good stuff. And we'll do a video for y'all for that. Yeah, and then we got to learn how to use it too. It will work with a table saw or a router. I was thinking those one pieces look like a kind of a router block. Oh, I see. You can. It looks like it's for the guard. You can use it for either or. Matter I was fact, looking at the picture. It looks like it might be for the guard. That guard is more so for the router than well. It's both the table saw and the router. Oh, okay. But either way, you know, it's something a lot of people are adding these days. These guards. I mean, 20 years ago, they didn't have that stuff on anything. That's because you, that's when you listen to, let's see, what's, what's your sage advice you gave me? A woodworker that's missing limbs? <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Somebody that's missing fingers is obviously not very careful, but they're also the kind of person that might stick their finger underneath of this, this not doing any good. So, you know, I can understand not being careful. But not if anybody has injuries and does woodworking, we're not saying anything about that. Some people do stupid stuff. You know, accidents happen, the, but... So that's the politically correct safeguards for this today? This is not a politically correct woodworking shop. <laughs> oh, there's a disclaimer for Marky Mark's Woodshop. <laughs> if you're looking for a politically correct woodshop, you found the wrong channel. Sorry. We're real. <laughs> Anyhow... That's what came in the mail today. Thank you, honey. You're most welcome, my love. We'll be able to learn how to do our dental molding. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, that's a whole nother beast. But mostly it's for my boxes. I make little boxes. Well, I have high hopes for my joinery as well. Well, yeah. You know, but as I'm thinking. I have it on camera now. It's my <laughs> for Valentine's Day. All you have to do is... <laughs> you know, not many women would probably get excited when to get a brand new Incra <laughs> for Valentine's Day from their honey. <laughs> I know what my woman likes. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and there's only one other thing I can say from there. Marky Mark. Extraordinaire! Err, err! <laughs>